and we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to blend in a logo using the Venetian blinds in Premiere Pro. I've got this video clip right here and the logo on top. That logo I have set to the blending mode screen to get rid of the black background. And now I want to blend it in. We could easily use a default transition. Simply right click and then edit. We've got to cross this off and it does its work. But let me get rid of it. I want to show you the Venetian blinds. Just type it in in your search function under effects and video effects transition. You will find it. Drag and drop it on your logo file. And under effect controls, you will now find it. Let us go to the starting position and then start an animation. Simply click on this little stopwatch and you've got your first keyframe. Let me go 30 frames forward, or maybe only 20, so I get back 10. And now I'll create a new keyframe and set the transition completion to 0%. I'll go to the end position, create a keyframe, set the transition completion to 100%. And I go back 20 frames, so minus 20, create a new keyframe and set the completion to 0%. Now let me roll the clip. And it does a good job of blending in the logo. But you can see these little lines. They're not perfectly aligned with the direction of the logo. We can change that by going to direction and then increasing the degrees. I don't know, maybe 70 degrees works good in this case. And if I roll it again, you can see the adjustment. There are more adjustments we can make. For example, we can increase the width and thus create more or less of these stripes. And we can increase the feathering. Let me roll it again. In this case, I don't like it when it's feathered, so I'll turn it down again. And this is how you can use that Venetian blinds effect to blend in a logo in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.